by Leslie Robinson again, uh, creator of the tourism career samplers that you can find at teachingtourism.com. So what's the format of the books? As they were being developed, a template or a, a format kept coming up over and over again. And, and this is so much the success of the samplers because this acts as a strong foundation um, on which all of the content and the experiential learning takes place. So this, the, uh, the format is broken into six different sections. The first is the setup. <clears throat> and this is all outlined for you when you get your first facilitator guide. The setup is basically what, what do you need to do in the classroom. They're very simple things about something you can draw on the blackboard or a way that you can arrange uh, desks and tables, that, that kind of thing. And, uh, and then there's also a part, uh, an instructor supply list there <clears throat> and maybe a few things if the students are to bring them in. But it's all very simple, it's very minimal, and it's well outlined. The next thing is the objective. Always, 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 as you know, as, a, as an educator, that the clarity of the objective is absolutely paramount. And the learning objectives in the samplers are all around what is it, by the end of the sampler, what is it that the student will be able to do? And very specifically, what they will be able to do is they will be able to decide with some degree of confidence that whether they want to pursue the career or not. And so then through the activities presented within the sampler, then everything is geared to providing a simulation and experiential experience for the learners so that they can actually authentically make that decision at the end, as opposed to here's a bunch of information for you to think about. They will have lived it. They will have done it and you will have flipped your classroom. So the background um, is the third section, and all of the samplers begin with a little bit of background, a little bit of historical context that is has a global perspective. Um, interestingly, when I started doing this, all of the background, the history information for tourism was very Eurocentric. And so I just teased that out a little bit and what's actually happening on the other side of the Pacific or on the other side, on, on our side of the Atlantic so that it's not so Eurocentric. Okay. And the purpose for giving a bit of background is so then the learners can see, oh, this is where it came from. But now the sampler itself is based all on what is actually the career right now? So it helps the student just get situated right there in where is where am I now? All right, and then they feel their own progression in skill and knowledge acquisition as they go through. And then with that, the final question, do you want to pursue this? That's the jumping off point. It's like, oh, I really like this career, but I like this aspect of it more. So when I do want to pursue it, then I think I'm going to explore that line of inquiry or that specialty within within the career. Then good old Bloom's taxonomy we always begin with a few def, a bit of definition and roles so that we all have that same recall of information, um, some basic comprehension and then it gets everybody onto the same page so that you get the lingo or you get the codes for travel counselors, the city codes, you know, that Vancouver is YVR and that New York is NYC and that Montreal is YUL. Hmm, how did that happen? Um, but you also get some, you know, what's the difference between a connecting room and an adjoining room in, um, in a hotel for front desk agent, that kind of thing. So just basic definitions that just to help get everybody onto the same page. And then comes the game changer and that's when everything turns. This is when we flip things in the classroom and that's when we get to the scenario. So the scenario is imagine you are that front desk agent or you are that heritage interpreter for the day. All right, here and then we set up the scenario and off they go sorting out their, um, their tasks. And then throughout, there will be evaluations of, that they can do. It's peer evaluation um, 
within the scenario part. And then at the end, then there is always that evaluation of the effectiveness of their own learning experience. So that's it. Set up objectives, background, definitions and roles, scenario, the game changer, and evaluation. I'm Leslie Robinson for Tourism Career Samplers. Check me out at teachingtourism.com. Thanks.